Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Bayview Bistro. It's just trying to bring the community together by deliciousness, you know? So I'm really excited to be here today because nothing brings the community together like food. And so having amazing food options for and by the people of this community is critical to the success, the long-term success and stability of the Bayview Hunters Point community. My name is Nima Romney, and my business is Soul Bowls. It's a, a mobile soul cafe. We do soul food with a Latin twist. I wanted to open up a truck that could honor the soul food, my African heritage, as well as my Latin descent. My name is Harold A.G. Go by Big H Barbecue, and I've been at it for like 15 years. I've been cooking all my life, pretty much, you know. I like cooking barbecue ribs, chicken, links. My favorite is um, what everybody else loves is barbecue oysters on the grill with my broth toss. My name is Quanisha Johnson, and I am the owner of Yes Pudding. So it all started with the banana pudding, which is the mother of them all, and it kind of evolved to everything pudding. So now what I do is take on traditional desserts, deconstruct them, and pair them with a pudding. So that is my ultimate goal of the business. Our goal with the Baby Bistro is to really bring in businesses on this three month cycle so that they can really use us as a launching off point to grow a sustainable business. And so we really want to use the Baby Bistro as an opportunity to support uh, business owners of color and um, those who have contributed a lot to the community and are looking for opportunities to grow their business. These are the kind of things that the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission is doing. They're doing it because they feel they have a responsibility to San Franciscans and to people in this community. I had a grandmother who lived in Bayview and she never moved. She never wavered, you know? So grandmother's house was always a house of security and serenity where we always went for holidays. So I was always a part of Bayview most of my life. I can't remember not being a part of Bayview. You know, I've been here for several, several years and this space used to be like unoccupied and so it was pretty much used as a dump. But I think that to repurpose it for something like this, like for the bistro, for to give them opportunities for the local vendors and like food people to come out and, you know, showcase their work. I think it's a great way to, you know, give back to the community. The Baby Bistro is a really great example of a public-private community partnership in which Multiple city departments have been supporting this initiative that includes the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission and the Mayor's Office of Economic and Workforce Development. Working with the PUC, working with the joint venture partners, we actually got the resources to make sure that this space was activated, that our businesses were gonna be able to thrive because of all of the opportunities that are on the way to this community. Baby has changed, it's growing, a lot of things is different from when I was a kid in Bayview. You got the T-Train going down to third now, and it never was that. A lot of new business. So um, I'm looking forward to be a business owner in my neighborhood. I love my city. You know, I went to school in City College on 4th and Mission in San Francisco under Chef Rhea, Chef Marlene, and Chef Betsy, who are probably extremely proud of me. I just don't want to leave them out of this journey. Everyone here works really hard. They um, are very supportive and passionate about what they do. And they all have one goal in mind, is for the baby to thrive. All right, it's time to eat, people. <laughs> <laughs>